I am about to undertake the greatest journey of my life so far. I am about to take a flight to Southern Africa and spend six months there. Let's hope it will well. Let's hope the plane doesn't crash or anything like that. I spent two months in Southern Africa a year ago. I had a profound experience. I spent most of my time in Swaziland, also some in South Africa itself. This time around, I hope to go to as many different countries in the region as possible. I already have tickets to Botswana and Namibia. Other countries are easily accessible in the region by other forms of traffic than planes. I wanted to buy a third ticket, but that's one thing that didn't work out. Otherwise, a lot of things are happening to make this look real good. I've learned a lot since the last time I went there. I thought a whole lot about Africa. And they say when you travel abroad, it really helps you think about things back home. It gives you a different perspective. Indeed, it did. I really rethought things when I was in Africa about back home. For example, it caused me to kick a friend out. And then when I came back, interestingly enough, I learned a lot about Africa. When I was away from Africa, I thought a lot about it. I got a different perspective of that as well. I am determined to be a leader. So leadership is one thing I'm learning about. And one thing I found interesting about traveling so far is I've read about how when you travel, you supposedly get new insights into things. So I was expecting to go there and get all these insights. But what I found last time and also this time is I get the insights before I even get there because you're thinking about how it's going to go. You're thinking about how you need to change. There's a spiritual law called the law of reversibility. I don't know who invented it the first time or named it, but it's a profound spiritual law that, that states you need to become something before you get it into your life. And it's the opposite. You expect to get something before you actually become it as they suggest most of us are that way. It's counterintuitive to me, but I'm totally convinced of it. I'm seeing it work more and more in my life. And as it applies to travel is you become ready to go to the new place before you're there, instead of going to the place, having all these changes and making yourself ready. It's really a very profound thing. I don't want to have too rigid of an agenda. In fact, my goals are very open-ended. I want to visit as many countries as possible, meet a lot of babes in South Africa. The country has a lot of different types of babes. We have your African babes. We have your Indian babes. We have your Afrikaner babes. Plus, of course, there's all sorts of foreigners coming in and out. I want to learn about leadership and one thing I'm learning a lot about these days is expectations. I listened to Wayne Dyer and Wayne Dyer said, don't will, be willing, the universe resists demands. And that's something I have been totally focusing on these days. And Africa is a perfect place to learn that lesson. There's so many tragedies and situations going all around that it's hard to have expectations. And I've seen the wisdom of eliminating expectations. I don't want my stuff to be sold. I want to stay safe from crime. This is a dangerous region to go into. I'm trying to plan everything the best I can to avoid that. I want to come out in one piece. I don't want my stuff to be stolen. I want to keep being on the social networks. Last time I was in Southern Africa, I got to the internet just about every single day. I hope to post videos, pictures, 
and lots of words about what's going on. One thing I've become very interested in since I left is Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church. And that has tangentially got me interested in Calvinism. Calvinism isn't something I see too much in the United States, or at least I didn't think there was too much, but now I want to experience more of that in Southern Africa. Of course, a lot of the Calvinists there are bad Calvinists, namely apartheid ones, but there could be other Calvinists as well. And who knows, there might be some more crusader in Southern Africa, just like Fred Phelps. Stranger things have happened, have they not? I'm really looking forward to this. I today put in my zero day notice at work. I sent a letter to the boss, thanking her for teaching me about leadership and for giving me the opportunity to achieve one of my dreams. I am ready. It is liberating to be in this position. Hopefully, I will have lots of good experiences.